Hello everyone, I'm Lucia Tian with Coffee and Craft. Today I'm introducing a new CAD software, which is this Little Craft CAD. It's very simple and easy to use, and is specifically designed for Little Craft pattern drawing like this. And this is a folding wallet uh, drawing that I recently made, and then uh, you can make something like this. Um, and of course, um, you can use uh, existing CAD software. They are made for general purposes, so they can do almost everything from DIY to complex construction, for example. But at the same time, they're very feature-rich and very complex. So it takes a very long time to learn how to use it. Most of people just give up because it's too much for them. In the meantime, this Leathercraft CAD is designed for Leathercraft only. So it only has enough features for uh, drawing patterns for leather craft. It's very simple and very easy to use and very intuitive. So what I mean by specifically designed for leather craft. So the biggest difference of this leather craft CAD from the existing CAD software is it recognizes the stitching holes as stitching holes like, like this. For existing CAD software, those stitching holes are just like a shapes or object and they don't uh, do anything other than that but this Leathercraft CAD recognizes stitching holes as stitching holes and the stitching lines as stitching lines what I mean by that I can show you a quick demo for that so let's erase this one okay let's start with a basic curve like this so you can draw a basic curve like this and you can change the shape of the curve like this and this is something you can do um, you know, with the existing CAD software no problem but if you want to put uh, stitching holes on the stitching line so let's assume this is a stitching line and uh, let's make uh, a pattern to like this if you are using four millimeter pitch uh, pricking irons so if you have used any of those CAD software before then you know what to do so basically, you measure 4 millimeter distance from the previous point. Um, typically, you're drawing a circle, like 4 millimeter uh, radius circle, and put the mark at the intersection. So that means 4 millimeter distance from the previous point. So that's how you do. So you have to repeat that you know, boring process one by one. But this Leathercraft CAD, you can automatically fill the stitching holes from the beginning to the end like this so there's a stitching feature like this and if you click on the stitching button the list of the pre-registered pricking irons will appear here for example there are diamond shaped pricking irons for 3 millimeter pitch 3.38 3.85 and 4 mil and of course uh, french style 3.38 uh, and uh, flat and round and then uh, actually you can register your custom pricking irons uh, whatever the pitch is, whatever the shape uh, you can register as you like so you can customize it so um, this time I'm gonna choose this diamond shape 4 mil pitch uh, breaking iron and click at the beginning and click to the end and then now um, all the stitching holes are placed and then if you I don't know if you noticed uh, or not but those stitching irons are rotated automatically um, according to the uh, the state of the curve so like this way um, this CAD software will accelerate the process of leather craft pattern drawing uh, dramatically compared to the existing ones if you want to design uh, ID pass case then uh, what you can do is and here's the repository button and then it opens the list of the uh, repository templates that is pre-registered uh, at the installation and then here's the credit card and then what happens is it will show you the size of the credit card and the dimension let's switch to the select mode and then you can turn this credit card uh, like this and um, design the rectangle around it and yep like this 
and you might want to round the corners using the uh, um, beveling features and then uh, click one line and click the second line to round the corner you can do the same here and here here and here so it's very easy to do it the next thing you might want to do is to draw a pocket uh, somewhere here so uh, let me do it like uh, using a busy curve, I can do something like this. Yeah, it's curved line like this. And then you can just copy and paste. And then um, you know, flip horizontally. And then connect it here. And then only thing you need to do uh, is to connect um, the gap here and here. And then I, I think I made a mistake. Um, let me fix it. Uh, it's not connected. Yep, it is connected now. So now you have a pocket here. And the next thing you want to do is to, um, you know, draw a stitching line. So to do that, I can use offset, which draws um, you know, offset line three millimeters or whatever the distance you want away from the line you select. So um, you can choose either way, but this time I'm going to make a stitching line inside. So something like this. You can continue clicking on several lines and then click at the time. And then I don't like the, the color of the outline on this one. So let's select the, uh, the frame and then switch the color to this one. Okay, it looks good. And then uh, what I can do is to uh, stitch from here to here. This this turn to blue. That means it's all connected. So I can do uh, automatic um, placing uh, stitching holes like this. So it's quite easy to make something like this. So this is just an example uh, showing how easy it is to uh, draw leathercraft pattern with this CAD software. And there are more leathercraft features, um, and some of those are uh, very unique to this tool. You can design box stitch pattern very easily using this uh, CAD software. I have no time explaining all the features uh, today. I just wanted to give you a quick introduction uh, of this leathercraft CAD. And I'm going to add more tutorial video type of thing. But in the meantime, um, I have some tutorial videos uh, in Japanese and I translate it in English so that it has English captions. So if you go to uh, select mode and then there is a, a watch tutorial videos on YouTube and it will bring you to uh, the tutorials. Um, you know, it has tutorial one and two and three. And although uh, it's written in Japanese, um, you know, it has an English caption so you can uh, watch those uh, videos and learn how to uh, use it like a basic way of how to use it and I will work on uh, English spoken version of tutorial um, and again this is a free software so anyone can use it free of charge and no obligations and how to download this software is written in the description uh, area so please read that and then uh, you can download it from my website, which is um, right here, coffee-craft.net and en. So please check my website from the browser, and then and you can go to uh, Leathercraft CAD page from here. So once you click here, then uh, there is a, a information about this Leathercraft CAD. And the Windows version is right here. The version 1.0 is just released yesterday. And then there's a 64-bit Windows version and a 32-bit Windows version, uh, just in case. And also, uh, the version 1 is available for Mac OS as well. And then uh, Apple Silicon M1 M2 CPU version is here. And then if you have Intel version, uh, you can download this one as well. And then installation is really easy so please check it out and then um, let me know what do you think um, any suggestions uh, bug reporting um, you know features I appreciate any feedbacks so please try it and then let me know what do you think and then please visit my uh, Twitter site X site as well uh, if you go to this help menu and then about 
uh, the craft cat then uh, you'll see my website information here and a YouTube video and a Twitter right here and I forgot to change the URL for English users so just put EN here or uh, go to the description site and get the URL for English site yep that's it for today and then oh and please don't forget to subscribe this channel and I really appreciate if you click the like button for this video alright thank you for watching and see you in the next video bye bye